For this project, you're going to need fabric. I went with something thin, stretchy, and that curled at the bottom. Measuring tape, pins, scissors, thread, and elastic. Either of these elastics will work. You're first going to measure from where your shoulder seam would be to the length of the shirt. And then your second measurement is just going to be across your chest. So if you're wearing a shirt, it'll just be from side seam to side seam. Using those two measurements and adding seam allowance on either side, so about two centimeters to both measurements, we're going to cut out two squares or rectangles. We're then going to pin those two rectangles together at the shoulder and at the two side seams making sure you have right sides facing in. You're then gonna fold over the fabric to create your new neckline, and you're gonna do the same for the back of the shirt as well. And then trim away the excess. Make sure to do this around the armhole as well. Now with a zigzag stitch, we're gonna sew our three new seams. Now trying on the shirt, we're ready to make the adjustments. So I just took it in a little at the sides and we're also gonna fold over the neckline and the sleeve to show what the shirt's actually gonna look like once we add our elastic. Sew with a zigzag stitch these new adjustments and then trim away all your excess. After trying on the shirt, I decided to trim the length by a little bit. It's now time to measure out our elastic. So we're gonna place it along the neckline to determine the length that we need to cut. And then we're gonna do the exact same for the armhole. Now with the shirt right side out, we're gonna place our elastic along the edge. If your elastic has a design, you're gonna want it facing out. And then we're going to just sew along, pulling the elastic slightly so the shirt has a little snug fit. Sew this with a zigzag stitch and then trim away the excess. Now that our first stitch is done, we're ready to fold the elastic over and just sew it again along the edge. Again, sewing with a zigzag stitch. You're then going to do the exact same with the armhole. And you're all done.